My name is Joe Rodriguez. I have two companies. One is Rodriguez Ranch, the other one is JR Organics. Uh, one is a flower operation, the other is a pro a produce, growing organic uh, produce. Actually, I'm the fourth generation in California. Um, my dad uh, started up in Buena Park, and we moved down to Valley Center, or here north of Escondido, um, in 1959. When I was growing up, at 10 or 11 years old, I was behind my dad. He would be walking out as his shadow. So basically, he showed me how to do different kinds of monitoring, different uh, different techniques that they had at that time. Uh, straight out of high school, I um, came out and started farming with my dad in the uh, early 80s. Um, about, well, not, well, actually, in 85, uh, we looked into the organic. And um, in 1986, um, we actually converted the five acres into organic products and, and was testing the market at that time. Um, I felt that uh, some of the pesticides and some of the uh, chemicals and the fertilizers that we were using were not getting our soil any healthier. Actually, they were uh, depleting it. It actually unbalances the soil and it makes the plants really rich in certain proteins and stuff instead of the insects not liking it, they love it, so they just come in in a full abundance and just really multiply very, very quickly. The chemicals were just getting really strong and were not working anymore. And um, I didn't like my employees working in those environments. So, and plus what we were doing to our soil and our atmosphere and, and um, our environment. Um, just um, different things I saw that were just not working and not, didn't feel right. Actually went with their advisors that worked for the pesticide companies, and they would come out and they tell you, "Well, you got this, this, and this," and then they give you this big old list of different kinds of pesticides to use. You know, something for the funguses, something for the worms, something for the uh, white fly, something for the aphids. So you were probably mixing about uh, oh seven or eight different kinds of pesticides that were really strong. I got um, at one time I was doing the uh, the mixing for our farm and I got really sick of quite a few times. And that's when I said, this is not gonna work. Our soil got really bad. It got really compact. Um, we started applying a lot more compost, a lot of different kinds of materials, kelps, and different um, things that helped our soil. So within three to four years after that, our soil was so fluffy, again, that it was just amazing. You can stick your hand right into the soil with no problem. It took about seven to eight years before I was actually able to balance the soil to a proper, proper balance. Um, within the 10th year, we were probably using, oh, maybe a 10th of what we were applying um, 10 years before that. So our application of pesticides is, you know, very, very minimal. The big change was um, learning how to do it, learning how to, how to deal with the, uh, insects and the fertilizers. At that time, there was very few products out there. So it was all a learning experience for, for us. All these things that we're using now, are it's all natural. Um, we're working now with another company called uh, Westbridge, and they um, have built these different kinds of uh, products also now that are like stu um, um, root stimulants to help the plants take off very well. This is all organic, um, all the different kinds of uh, enzymes and stuff that they've been able to to make most of our products, um, the vitamin, the vitamins, and every all the nutritional value is when it's first harvested. So, um, ex like example, yesterday we did a market in Escondido. Um, that all that was harvested that morning. So basically, it's to the people within eight hours. So they're able to take that home and use it within that week, and the vitamin content is still in there. Uh, CSA is community supported agriculture. And what it is, a new strategy for small farmers to market their produce. And um, we get members to join by uh, buying a share in the farm, a quarterly share, and then they get to share in the harvest. And by prepaying the farmer, he has the uh, capital to buy his seeds, buy his fertilizers and do that. But he also has a secure market. So he knows exactly who he's growing for and why he's growing. One of the advantages to buying from a CSA is that you're guaranteed local produce and if it's an organic farm, of course, you're guaranteed organic produce and that it's fresh. Like I said, they buy a share, they prepay, and then every week they get a box of produce delivered to a pickup location, you know, and if people are concerned about their food and the source of their food, 
you know. And uh, like Joe was saying, the nutritional value of, of vegetables and produce is basically gone within three or four days. You really do want to eat it immediately. Produce most people get is already four or five days old, maybe older. So, you know, as far as health concerns, it is really important to eat fresh, fresh produce as much as possible. And Joe does guarantee that all his produce is picked within a, a really a 12-hour period of delivery. So it's a really awesome way to get your vegetables, you know. Thank you.